Station 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. We've got some triggers for some storms around the region today. Notice this little spin. See that little curl, that little comma in Missouri. It's called an MCV. We had so many storms out here in the plains and western corn belt last night. When you have so much rising air motion with a lot of storms, the air pressure near the ground drops and it can drop pretty drastically. And as the earth spins, the Coriolis effect, we call that, creates this little, almost little mini low pressure. So that's what's flaring these storms up here near St. Louis. For us, we got one of these disturbances up near Chicago, but it's very weak. And then we got an old boundary left over from some weakening showers and storms we had last night. So we've got a couple of triggers in our area. The problem is we're capped today. We've got a warm, dry layer, acts as a lid. Storms try to build just like that one right there, and then they just completely collapse. You can see them flare up. There went one right there. It got pretty intense for a while, but then both of these storms completely collapsed. There's nothing out there uh, right now. We will watch for a few isolated storms here this evening in our area. These all stay kind of down this way, but we may get a couple isolated ones here and there. And then we're just looking at a few clouds overnight after 80s this evening. Heat indices mid 80s to around 90. We dropped to 68 with a calm wind and a marginal risk of severe weather for the evening hours for perhaps one of these storms, albeit isolated, could go severe. That's why Storm Prediction Center still keeps that green shading in our area with upper 60s to around 70 tonight. Tomorrow, where it's going to be even hotter than it was today. 90 the high, heat index 97. Not a lot of wind and just a couple isolated storms in the afternoon with 88 to about 92 viewing area wide and heat indices mid 90s to as high as 102 tomorrow. So take it easy, drink lots of fluids. And tomorrow and Friday can't rule out a few isolated storms and one or two of those could go briefly severe. Storm Prediction Center really has the best chance of that in the northern half of the area, but I think anywhere. Anywhere you get a storm, briefly severe uh, will be the story. A 91 on Friday, heat indices upper 90s, and not necessarily a lot of wind either. 89 to 92 will do it for highs on Friday with heat indices upper 90s to lower 100s. To mow, though, the only issue will be a couple isolated storms in the afternoon and evenings and all the heat around. That's why there are yellows tomorrow and Friday. There are a couple isolated storms here and there through this evening. Then they collapse, just a few clouds overnight. I notice tomorrow, the clock here, a few isolated random storms cannot be ruled out. And then we have one or two on Friday and Saturday. And then dry Sunday, Monday, some storms possible late Tuesday. And then a few more on Wednesday with a high of 88. But you get the idea what one, two, three, four, five days. That'd make it a heat wave if we can reach 90. Uh, five days in a row, Jeff. So uh, from one extreme to the other, we're on a stretch here of heat. Yeah, well, 